Do you have any take on twin flames? <laughs> <laughs> well, so here's, here's what I'll say about that. Um, I do. And it's kind of, it, this is a fun topic because um, there's just so many theories on it and such. And, you know, I went through my, my phase where I kind of would like roll my eyes at that term, like, oh yeah, it's such a new age term. But the reality is I've experienced a relationship that fits that description to a T and it was one of the most powerful spiritual awakenings and also the most devastating experiences of my life. Um, it broke me open, you know, went through my Saturn return in relationship to a man who I would say had all of these qualities of like a, a soul twin, so to speak, like a mirror, but it was devastatingly, um, it, it was, it was like, a direct kind of um, initiation through my own underworld and his for him as well. I mean, it was, you know, very, very powerful, very spiritually co-creative. I mean, it literally opened all of my spiritual gifts that during the time that I met him and started um, seeing him back. And I met, I, I, we actually started dating 2020, 12, uh, 12, 12, 12 was mm -hmm. our official, like when we started being in relationship officially together. And it, it was a huge process for me of having to confront all these aspects of my own shadow, my own soul journey, karma, like it was just so deep and intense and very passionate and powerful and a huge catalyzing force for me. And also on the other side of that, the destruction of that relationship, the ending of that relationship was the even deeper initiation into my current gifts, my current work in the world. Um, me finding my way onto this path and finding the right tools and teachings and mentors to lead me to where I am now all came forth through that relationship and its ending. And so I do believe that as souls, we have very specific soul contracts, that there are types of soul contracts that are different. Um, uh, I feel like there are certain soul contracts that are we could say um, not so much twin flame or soul twin relationships that are more just soulmate relationships that are teachers on our path that we have really powerful soul bonds to, but are not as chaotic and intense or they, they don't have the, the capacity to become as intense and chaotic and challenging as twin flame or soul twin relationships are. I know that some, we could, whatever we want to call them, soul twins or twin flames. I know that there are people that successfully make those relationships work, but they have done an incredible amount of work on themselves and they are willing to withstand the fires of the mirror of that relationship. And both souls have to be kind of on board with that. And so a lot of times the force of it is too intense for it to come to fruition in the physical plane and they're almost repelled apart or something destructive happens or there's an inversion because the polarity is just, it's just too intense and too strong. So. I believe that there are other soulmate relationships that are less, there might still be karma associated with them, but they're more dharmic than karmic. They're more leading us to, towards our higher destiny and leading us towards, you know, um, a higher expression of our soul in the world. They're more um, generative than like destructive. Like we're going to take you into the underworld and tear you apart. They might still challenge and bring up wounds and pains to be processed and alchemized, but it's a different process. I feel in sort of like soul flame or soulmate relationships that aren't twin flame or soul twin. I feel like there are these aspects of our soul that are mirrors or teachers to us in a softer way that are more sustainable long-term relationships than, you know, twin flame or soul twin relationships. So that's, that's been my experience because I've, I've met both versions of that. I, I had sort of more of a twin flame soul twin relationship that ultimately most difficult lessons of my life. I mean, all of the, the, experiences I've had being brought to my knees and the deepest possible pain and grief came through that relationship. It took me years and years of healing the trauma of it to get to where I am now. You know, it was not a quick process, but I've also experienced the other version of that, like soulmate relationship that is just the most like nourishing, generative, easeful, like just, you know, everything aligned, faded type of relationship that feels much more like, oh, this is more directing me towards my higher destiny in a way that doesn't feel so um, <laughs> just like, you know, um, 
excruciating, so to speak, yeah. intense. Yeah. Yeah. Tumultuous, all of it, like the very tumultuous, yeah. Deepest initiation. Mm-hmm. Can, yeah. Can it's like I feel like the, the twin flame is almost like a can be such a um, initiation through like dark night of the soul type Mm. experiences and some again like some of those relationships can withstand that um, and can be brought through to fruition but from my experience I believe many of many twin flames spend many many incarnations trying to consummate that and it's not always successful because of the incredible force that exists there and I believe that that same kind of powerful force but in a different quality can exist between soulmates that are meant to like build um new ways of being in the world i feel like those are the types of unions that will be coming together and that have been coming together but it requires again a a different sort of courage than say okay i'm willing to be like drugged through the underworld through like the dark night of the soul aspect of my own initiations like i feel like these other relationships and unions are still very driven from the level of the soul but it's it's like both of them it's just a softer landing in in some ways like it's it's more they both have already gone through enough of their own refinement perhaps they both have experienced already their own twin flame process or something similar right some other intense dark night of the soul process and they've come out the other side refined and more aligned already to their sort of higher nature. And that, you know, from that space, there's more receptivity for a soul flame or a soulmate that has also done the work on themselves. And it can be this more easeful, nourishing journey at that point. 